Hey you guys, welcome back to another vlog. There's a lot of chaos going on behind me. We are so kind of moving in, even though it's like a little bit toward the end of the month. Um, but welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another vlog. If you guys are new here, my name is Jenna and I live in New York City and I do a bunch of like fashion and lifestyle videos. So vlogs, try on hauls, styling videos, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you subscribe. Um, but I am just getting ready because it is Saturday and I'm going to meet Steph, Avery, and Gabby to do some fall outfits. We're going to meet in Soho, which I'm excited about. I think it's going to be a little bit crowded, but it's a beautiful day. So I'm excited to get out there and to get more fall outfits done. And I'm going to show you guys a couple of the ones that I'm planning right now because I'm wearing one. And then I think I'm going to do three total. That's usually like the magic number. I feel like four it's kind of a lot and I just get like a little bit annoyed with changing and stuff when I'm like in a time crunch because we also have a brunch at one o'clock. So we're just having a little chill fall Saturday in New York City. I actually go back home tomorrow morning to New Jersey and I'll be working from the New Jersey office a couple times during the week this week and then probably coming back to my apartment like maybe twice. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan. And I'm just going to flip you guys around in the mirror so I can show you guys what I'm thinking of for styling outfits. You guys, I also have some home updates for you that we'll be doing throughout this vlog. So basically the first thing I need to do is put on my bed skirt because you could see all of the bins under my bed and I just hate the way it looks. So we have the bed skirt ready to go here. I'm trying to decide if I want to steam it before I put it on or not, or if that's just going to be a waste of time. But then I also picked up this bedding from Pottery Barn. So this is their honeycomb bedding. I did a duvet because I already have a duvet. So I felt like it would be easiest just to switch out the cover instead of getting like a huge comforter and having to bring all of that stuff home. And then I got matching shams, which I actually need pillows for. I don't have like decorative standard pillows. So I'll probably get those from like... TJ Maxx, which I'm actually going to pass when I'm there today. So maybe I'll grab pillows from there. And then I also, speaking of pillows, got these kind of like boucle fabric pillows from Amazon. So there's an insert in here right now. I was being a bit of a dummy. And <laughs> instead of just putting the pillow cover over the leopard ones, which I am going to do, I ended up buying these inserts, which are actually pretty nice and they were kind of cheap. So I'm surprised. But this pillow cover is really good quality and basically I'm just going to take this off of the insert and put it on my leopard one because these are like feathered down pillows so they're just a little bit nicer in quality and I don't want to have to get rid of those excuse the mess over here um and then we'll use these inserts that are in here for the couch because we have to get pillows for our couch as well so I'm going to get all of this stuff sorted out today my duvet that's on here right now is so grubby and like dusty that I just want to get this new one on there. And I feel like it's going to make the room look so much nicer. So I'm really excited for that, but we are going to do that after we shoot. And let me show you guys the outfits. Okay, so it's absolute chaos behind me, but just try to ignore that because this is look number one. I'm doing like a super oversized black wool sweater. This one is from H&M. It's a couple years old, but I will link something similar for you guys. And then I have these trousers on. These are weekday, I think. And I got these off of ASOS and I haven't really shot them a lot. So I'm gonna do like this big oversized look with like a little bag. And I think I wanna wear my Vans. Okay, you guys, we are in outfit number two. But I think this is the one I already showed you. I ended up switching up the order of them. So you guys missed the one with the tights, but I'll insert a video here of what it looks like or a couple of pictures, whatever I got. But Steph and Avery are I here. Like, Who's she talking to? Yeah. I know. I try to warn everybody, but it just I it didn't like work. Like yeah, and then this is Gap. Hi guys. I think Hi, everyone's vlog. like met the vlog before, be like, but a long time ago, like in the winter. Somewhere, yeah. Yeah. Somewhere in the vlog history. <laughs> so we're out here in the blazing. Huh? In your what? Obviously. Yes, of course I do. <laughs> not up to up with me. Me neither. I don't have one. That's what the young kids are saying. I know my boyfriend has one, but he's like 25. So I'm like, you're younger. You can have one. <laughs> Acceptable for you. Yeah. Um, but sorry, we are walking to Butler. We are going to just change into another outfit. I think I'm going to change in the street, honestly, because we can. But she already did the changing in the street. So now I'm going to scare everyone and change in the back. 
Mm-hmm. So she, she's earned her bathroom change. <laughs> I have not, however, because I was standing on the street with my bare feet with just tights on and it freaked Steph out. I don't know where she is. She's like, Jenna, you know, you're standing on the ground with your feet. I was like, yeah, but I have tights on. As if it's like a whole extra layer. Nope. As if I'm wearing shoes. Basically still barefoot. Yeah. On New York City streets. Yeah, but it's a quiet street. There's probably not a lot of foot traffic. Oh, yeah. A little less dirty than tell probably. Your, you can tell yourself that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're just going to go change quickly. Probably. Oh, I haven't had a coffee yet. Oh, hi. Hi. Um, Steph got a new haircut. I did. If you guys follow her on Instagram. But she got like a... How much did you cut off? Like four and a half inches. Oh my God. That's a oh my God. lot. Yeah, I said chop that shit. Your hair was that. <laughs> I just, I, I wish it. I could I say that, but I'm just know. scared. It looks so like all really? oh, how is you? Yeah, I know. Hair color? I'm only blonde. I have to um, I have to glaze mine darker. I think it's just like I want to change, but I don't want to like change it too much, yeah. and I don't want to cut it. So I guess we're gonna glaze it just to. Yeah. Hi. Thank you. Gab always has a blowout. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I she has like hair. My hair a sleek. Is so it's honestly it's like a full time job. Oh, I'm yeah. sure, but like it's worth it though. Because like <laughs> over an hour. Oh yeah. If I wait a little bit and let it air dry, it'll That's be like dream. four minutes. Yeah. I hate letting it. Air. But I don't have a lot of. I always air dry. I try to. Like almost until it's like curled up and then I'll like throw the blow dryer on it and it takes five minutes. Oh, we can cross this way. Yeah, we're just giving a, a crazy little update, but um, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit after we finish our shoot. All right, I am back from a very successful shoot day slash hang out with the girls that I feel like I really needed it. And I just refreshed my makeup. I put on a little bit more blush, fixed my concealer, and I'm kind of annoyed because I just bought a concealer at Sephora. You guys would have saw that, see, saw that. You would have seen that in my last video, but I forgot it at home. So I'm gonna have to get it, obviously, when I go back tomorrow morning but I really wanted to use it and I wanted to use my new blush, but we didn't get to do that. Um, so I just used my NARS blush and tried to fix my concealer with what I have left. It's a good thing I didn't throw out the tube yet because that could have been really bad. But I now have to film a Zara and H&M haul. I have been alluding to the fact that I was doing this in like five of my videos probably, and today I'm finally filming that plus the cutaways. And I'm just really excited because I haven't done this in so long and I just know that it's something you guys have been requesting from me. And I mean, I know that it's not the most sustainable to shop there, but the pieces that I did get, I'm really excited about because they're all very like neutral staples and I'll have them in my wardrobe and be able to wear them so many different ways. So, you know, that's kind of how I justify it. But I'm going to film that first. I actually need to throw some ice cubes in here because I went to Citizens. We went for brunch. It was really good. I got the, what did I get? The banana bread French toast. It was absolutely amazing. I think that's what I got the first time I went, um, but I can't remember for some reason. And it was just like probably 10 out of 10. Also look how cute these first, <laughs> some of these ice cubes are sticking to the bottom, but Amanda got this little honey. Sorry, I just dropped you guys. <laughs> Um, but Amanda got these cute little honeycomb ice cube makers. I don't know what to call this. Um, ice cube tray. And I just love them so much. I feel like it's this little thing that like sparks joy. Um, but for some reason at Citizen, so we were getting two drinks each um, and then a meal. So I had only got a latte and I kind of wanted one for the road. And because I only got a latte, I was like, oh, do you think it's like rude of me to ask if I get one to go? And they were like, no, definitely get one. So I'm really full right now because I ate all of my food plus some of Steph's fries. And I'm just like trying to digest that before I keep drinking this, but I just threw some extra 
ice cubes in it. I just got their latte, but um, their food overall is like 10 out of 10. If you guys go to New York City, like try to not go to like Jack's Wife Frida and stuff like that because it is very touristy there. And if you're in Soho, like Jack's Wife is on the corner and then Citizens of Soho is literally like diagonal from it. So it's like a hundred feet difference and it's really, really good without being like crazy touristy, which I feel like is always a plus in New York City because a lot of the things can be very touristy so i just yeah i highly recommend them they always have the best service and they're always really really nice in there so anyway i have to sit down and film even though this belt is like in the worst part for having a full stomach um but i just want to get this done because i'm so excited about this video and i really want to get it up for you guys so i'm gonna do that now it'll probably take me like an hour and a half to film the video and do all of the cutaways for it because there's like quite a lot of pieces and then I have to get started on the house things, which I'm excited to show you guys too. Lots to be excited about here. Um, but I will pick the vlog back up when I am doing all of the house stuff. Okay guys, I've been sitting here for like 15 minutes trying to film this video, but there's a fire truck across the street and I don't know what they're doing to it, but you can hear like that humming noise. I don't know if anybody knows what they're doing, like let me know, but it's like this noise and then it stops. And it's distracting me so much. I don't even know if you guys can hear it that well, but I need to like play the footage back because if you can't hear it, then I'll just keep going. But I feel like it's gonna just be distracting and like you can't really hear me, even though it could be like a very like low muffled sound. But I'm just like, I just wanna get this filmed and have it over with because it's like getting pretty late in the afternoon and I still have so much stuff to do, but I'm just like, I don't know. It's like distracting me so much. Okay, so it's a lot later in the day. It's actually the evening now, it's 8.04. And I just started to clear out the living room to set up the rug and the coffee table. So the rugs came first and then I ordered the coffee table from Wayfair. It literally came the next day. I was shocked. Why does this look blurry? Because it was. Um, but so I ordered the coffee table from Wayfair. Ended up ordering it like way later than I was supposed to. And it came the next day. So I was so happy about that because now we can get everything started. The only thing we were waiting on was the rug pads. So right now, I've just started to clear the living room. I just finished my latte from earlier today and I made myself a liquid IV because I feel like I haven't been drinking nearly enough water. And I'm definitely going to need it if we're going to do this huge project. So I have the rug pad. I have to just lay it out and measure it because it might be a little bit larger than our rug. So I'm just gonna cut it down to size, lay it down, and then I'll like roll out the rug afterwards. And then um, Amanda's rug and like the dog's playpen and stuff is all to the side. So I have like the rest of the living room to be able to kind of like lay everything out. And yeah, so I have to move a lot of stuff around. I don't know if I'll be able to do it by myself, um, but my boyfriend is coming back from the Yankees game in a little bit. so. Hopefully he'll be up for it to help me um, because yeah, I mean the couch isn't that heavy. I think I'll be able to do it myself. I'll just have to like shift a lot around because I don't have the full empty living room to like lay the entire rug down. And I can't remember the measurements, but I think it's like nine by six. So it's like pretty large, um, but I'm really excited. Amanda was like, we can wait until I get back with my boyfriend and like he'll help us build the coffee table and like cut the, um, rug pad down to size and I was like honestly I'm willing to take on the challenge I love doing this kind of stuff and I didn't really know that about myself until I kind of like started building my furniture last year and then this year I've had to do like a lot more like shopping and ordering and all that kind of stuff and I actually really enjoy it so I'm excited to start I'm gonna show you guys a before and after considering like not considering hoping that I can get all of this done by myself. So I'm gonna take you guys off the tripod and just flip you around to show you what the living room looks like now. So we have all of this extra stuff here. I have to put those books back on the shelf, but I was doing cutaways for my Zara haul. So I needed to just kind of like clear off the shelves. I only kept the Vogue issues. So this is the rest of the living room. We have some boxes, like I need to move this and this because the rug is probably gonna have to go underneath this whole section here. And then it'll come out to like here, depending on which way I orient it. I haven't really decided which way would make the most sense. So we'll play around with that. And then all of the extra stuff is like in the kitchen. So those are the clothes from 
my haul. We have a couple of other boxes and things that were in the living room that I just needed to move so that we have enough space to do this right now. And then I'll put them back in here and like figure out where everything goes afterwards. But this is what it looks like now. And one hour later, we have a full living room. The only thing we have left to do here is artwork because the walls are looking very, very blank. But I put the rug mat down. It ended up being pretty much the same size, but I couldn't line it up well enough. So I just trimmed like an inch off of this side so that it wouldn't show at the end. And then I put our coffee table together. So I mentioned this one was from Wayfair. It's actually the brand Safavia, which I have a mirror. If you guys <laughs> saw my videos like a year ago or probably more than that, when I used to live at home, I had a huge mirror in my room and it was the same brand as this. And this is actually pretty affordable for that brand. Um, but I absolutely love it. I think that it looks really nice all together. It's kind of weird looking at it completely finished because like you imagine what it's going to look like and then you put everything together and hope it's going to work. Um, and then right now I need to style up the coffee table. I think we're going to do some sort of like faux plant and then just a candle or the coasters or like a little, I actually want to get like a gray concrete tray and put a candle on it and then do some faux baby's breath just to bring in some color because you can't really see it, but there's like a gray background of the braided rug and I kind of want to bring that tone out a little bit more. So I want to see if I can get an oval tray to put on this table and then we'll just have like a simple vase with the faux flowers in there and just have them there all the time. Um, and just keep it like very empty and simple just because we don't like a lot of clutter. And then we can keep the coasters on like one of those shelves over there because we have to style all of this right now. There are table books on this shelf that are mine and Amanda's. And then up there I have the Vogue issues that I think I want to turn the other way and then put something else on the shelf. So we have lots to do, but so far it's pretty put together. The only thing we need is a TV stand and then Amanda's bringing a TV. So that's really it, um, aside from the artwork that I mentioned. Um, and then maybe we'll do a mirror right here because I had one there when I first moved in. I ended up moving it back into my room, but it looks really, really nice and kind of like opened up the space. So if we can just get like the one from Ikea that's like $99 or something and just have it here, I think it will look really nice. So yeah, this is the progress. I'm super happy with it. And it only took me an hour, which I thought was crazy. I was expecting to have to like finish, I have Harry Potter on right here. I was expecting to finish the entire movie before I was done with this, but we got it done pretty quickly. And I really like it. It looks so finished in here and I've been dreaming of having this room ready. Hello, you guys. I was editing this vlog back this morning and realized that I didn't end it off. And I feel like I do this like every five vlogs where I just like keep going and then I forget just because like, I don't know, they blend together and I just forgot to end it. So I actually just got home from work. It's 7.30 and I got this beautiful little package from Casetify that I wanted to open with you guys because I got the, well, I think it's the cutest case, but I'll just show you guys. Um, but so I have a Casetify case on my phone right now and I've had it for like a year and a half and it's just getting a little bit beat up because I literally obviously use my phone every single day. I drop my phone all the time, which is obviously not ideal. How cute is this little box? Um, so I just wanted to pick up a new one and they were so nice to send one over. So I got a little customization because that's one of my favorite things about Casetify and I've never had one of their customizable cases. So I saw someone with a camel colored case. Oh, it's not customized. That's odd. Um, but I saw someone with a camel color case. And so I picked up this nice little brown one just because I wear black so much and I love the color combination of the camel with black. And then they also sent over this one that is from their new collection. So thank you, Casetify. This is like the only case I'll ever put on my phone. This one's also made out of leather, which I love because it has like a really pretty, like simple texture on it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to pop off the one that I have on my phone right now and put this one on just because I also feel like I need a little bit of a change. 
and this one's really really cute so um anyway I am obviously ending the vlog off because I already told you guys that that was the reason why I turned the camera on I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog I have my other pillowcase that's coming today and then I feel like did I show you guys the bedding I don't think I did, which is really bad that I don't remember. I showed you it like in the packaging, but I didn't show it to you on the actual bed. And it's because I went to TJ Maxx and it was a complete fail. They didn't have any pillows at all whatsoever. Their home section was like this big. And I get it, like you can't stock like rows and rows of pillows when it's New York City, but there was so much in that store they just didn't have what I needed. So I was going to get some from home and just didn't have time when I was there. And it would have been nice because I ended up Ubering back into the city so I wouldn't have had to carry them. But we'll see. I'm going to try to go at some point this week and just so that I can like fully finish out the bed and show it to you guys when it's done. I don't want to show you when it's like half done because I feel like what is the point in that? And I just want it to be like pretty and finished when I show it to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you did enjoy it. I have a ton of other videos coming obviously. I <laughs> post like three times a week. I always joke that I'm like, yeah, and I have like videos coming. It's like, obviously, Jenna, like you post 17 times a week. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you subscribe. I would love to have you and I'll see you guys in my next video.